Okay, I am here picking up my car. Here's the uh, service center right behind me. They took a look at the uh, suspension issue. I've had, it ate up my rear tires in 6,000 miles, the 22 inches. And this was after I did tow for about 1,400 miles. You probably saw a video on that. And I also had some change out in the suspension by um, Electrified Garage to solve the inner wear issue, which we thought was the camber issue. But they're telling me now it's a tow out issue. Okay, tow in, tow out. They can't adjust it correctly. I'm not sure which one it's doing, tow in or tow out. I'm guessing out on the back, which is really messed up if it is. And they can't fix it. So I have to go to Tesla and get a suspension recalibration. Hopefully Tesla knows what this is and they can fix that. And then I got new tires put on after that. But they said don't even bother because it's just gonna mess them up just like the ones I have. And the ones I have are barely drivable. So I gotta get this thing fixed. We'll see how long it's gonna take Tesla to do that for one thing. But let's go get my car. All right, there it is. Okay, this, here are some printouts from the alignment. It's basically got an alignment. That's what they did. I have to pay for that. This was what it looked like before and after in high mode, because it wasn't that when I dropped it off. I told them to make sure to adjust it in normal mode. And here it is in normal mode. And this, I guess, is the, there's the before measurements, here's the after. But they're concerned about the toe, but the camber also looks off on the rear. I mean, look at that, that's point, negative 0.29 degrees, that, that's bad. Ideally, I'd like, want just like a one degree, I think. I don't, know what, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know what Tesla's gonna say. Oh man. Okay, now I just found out from talking to Chris over at Electrify Garage that those those uh, camber adjustable links are adjustable. I thought they were set and fixed and that was it. But apparently they can adjust them. So I gotta go back to the shop now, see if they can adjust them or tell them about that they can adjust them and see what they say. So I'm heading back to the alignment shop now after having left there already. When I showed you those documents, I had already gone somewhere else. Now we're heading back. All right, well. I took it back to the shop, Wigel Automotive here in Reston, great people. Um, they did tell me they did, they know about the adjustment on the nut uh, for the, the camber adjustment that was put in by Electrified Garage, I, you know, because Chris told me about that, make sure you tell them about this, I just did. They're like, yes, we did that. And we still can't get it in specs, because if you look at this sheet over here, it's like uh, 2.9 degrees, okay, and 2.8 degrees, down here at the bottom is red, the camber. And of course the toe out is, uh, toe in is a little bit of an issue, but the camber is as well on the rear. So I'll have to take it to Tesla. I think that, um, you know, we'll see. I, I don't know what's gonna happen from here. I do know that Chris is gonna talk to Chad about this and see if he has any ideas, but something's not right. Something is definitely not right. And if I combine all this together, Let's see, the, the, the tire's getting eaten up in 6,000 miles. I did tow for about 1,400 miles, but it was lightweight. You saw the trailer if you saw my video. Lightweight, easy tow. However, I have noticed since I started towing, you know, there's been that, that boat effect in the, in the um, autopilot. Maybe that's indicating to me that something else is wrong back there. I don't know what, because they obviously can't see it here at this shop, and maybe Tesla would know once they got their eyes on it. I'm sure the electrified garage guys would know, but I'm in Virginia. I'm in Northern Virginia and they're, and they're up in New Hampshire. So anyway, let me know, comment down below what you think is going on. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next video.